Hey, Rob, I'm curious how, because I know you guys just talk about, you know, SYF, India Elite. I was a speech guy. So, why, I, I talked with Lou about this a couple weeks ago. But for you, what made you, what made Purdue be the one for you? Because I know, like you just said, you play with Etuan, you play with Scott. You and Scott were kind of similar positions. So, what kind of made you decide, I'm going to go with Purdue and I'm going to see what happens? And were yeah, you being I, recruited Scott and I by were definitely. Else? Yeah, yeah. Um, Scott and I were definitely similar size, but I think our games were very different. Like, like in high school, I, I played point guard for our high school team a lot of the time, and Scott was more of like our, honestly, center. He posted a bunch, and he could shoot it, and he could handle it. But, like, you, you should have seen Scott Martin play in high school the way he scored the ball. Like, he, he was really effective around the basket, and then he'd take those bigger guys outside and just – I mean, he averaged 23 a game, you know. He, he, he was really, really good. So, um, I, I, I was recruited by a decent pool. I had, like, 15 or 16 offers – um, the ones I was most considering would have been, you know, I cut it down to like six and it was Valpo. I grew up a diehard VU fan, you know, cause of Homer drew and, and Bryce and I was a ball boy for like you know, four or five years. Um, so VU, Purdue, Indiana, Iowa, Northwestern, NC state were like my six that I was really, really considering. Um, and then I had some like random offers like Miami Florida, um, offered me. I, I have no idea why I think they were offering like everybody that was ranked in the top like 80 of the class <laughs> they just were throwing offers out um you know I got an offer from Arizona State after Herb Sendek left NC State but really when I look at my recruitment everybody started kind of falling by the wayside like Indiana Mike Davis is recruiting me honestly does a great job like he offered me to Lee Camp um this is like a storybook type deal like I played really and he takes me out to half court of his hall and like basically is like, look at these banners and like offers me a scholarship, <laughs> <laughs> which is like, I mean, if you're thinking about Indiana, like how perfect is that for like their narrative? Um, you know, and then so he gets fired and they hire Kelvin Sampson. He recruited us, but he didn't have a, a he didn't have enough time to build relationships with me, Etwan, Scott, you know, it just he was there for like a month and a half and, and I, I just didn't, I didn't feel it like that with, you know, it was, it was a weird situation for sure. Um, NC state Herb Sendak up and just leaves. I think he was sick of recruiting against Carolina and Duke. Um, so they kind of fall by the wayside, go out West because he offered me to Arizona state, but um, I really didn't want to play in the PAC 12. And then uh, with VU, like, man, I, I cried on the phone with Homer Drew. I called him and I told him I'm not coming. And I was so sad. Like Bryce was an assistant. Bryce and Michael Jordan were my two favorite players. <laughs> so <laughs> like when he's an assistant coach, like, I mean, I, you know, Bryce played at my high school, uh, five-year-old kid. My parents took me to the state finals and I watched, I, I'm not sure I actually remember it, but like, you know, I was in the building to watch the game. Um, I'm a ball boy. I could tell you, what I was holding, where I was at, who I was with when Bryce made that shot in this. Like, they were a big part of my, like, my growing up. So I, I used to look up the uh, the RPI. Do you guys remember CBSSportsLine.com? Like, when dial-up yeah. internet was the thing? You guys ever get on? Okay, Lewis, you know? Ray, so I'd get Ray on CBSSportsLine.com. Be... What's that? I said Ray might be too young for that. Yeah, I think he is. They, they kind of <laughs> switched it out once Ray fell was in the high school. Yeah, no, I didn't have that. Uh, but I would get on there and I'd tie up my parents' internet for like hours and I would just look up stuff about like VU. And I'd be like, I'd look at the RPI. I didn't know what the RPI was, but I knew it was a ranking system. They had the AP and the coaches fall in there, the RPI. And I would get so pissed because VU would go on like a two-game road trip and beat like UMKC and Southern Utah, who were both in the, in the mid-con. And they'd go down. <laughs> I'd be like, we freaking won. How can we go down in the RPI? Not understanding that strength of schedule was a huge part of that. So like I, I was really, really upset calling Homer Drew, and he was he could not have been nicer to me when I told him I was not coming to school there. Like yeah, some cool. coaches, you call them. I had an assistant coach literally just hang the phone up. <laughs> I was like, dude, I was, I was doing you a favor by calling. Like I was being nice. Um, click. So how nice to me, you know. He he was, and if they had been going to the tournament more. Man, I, I might have done it. Like, I loved them. I, I really – so I uh, I was recruited by a decent amount. But at the end of the day, like, 
each one and I and hey, you had talked about kind of playing together and you know once everybody committed Juwan was first and each one and I committed and then the, the pressure was on Scott to do it you know um certainly there, there I think it came down I, I want to say coach Painter had offered Scott and Matt Howard for that spot mm. and I think both of them wanted to come Matt not, might not say it now but at the time I I don't think he was necessarily like a butler lock so the pressure certainly was on there and um you know it, it was just Payne did a good job recruiting us honestly he, and so did Zoe and so did coach Lust those three were, were really really involved with us the whole time what separated paint? Like, I know you said relationships with IU, and I know maybe just the the platform, I guess the level of Valpo wasn't where you wanted, but what separated paint from other coaches, I guess, that you were talking to or other coaches that you knew? He was really honest. You know, the first time I visited Purdue, um, he did not offer me a scholarship. He, uh, But he told me why. You know, there, there's there's ways to go about doing this, and, like, the way he did it, I wasn't upset at all. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm going into my junior year. Um, I had a really good sophomore season. I, I'm coming off a pretty good AAU year. This is probably like – actually, this is in the spring probably after my sophomore season. So, I hadn't really even hit the AAU circuit yet. And uh, I visit Purdue, and he's got an offer out to a kid named uh, – I want to say Mar Marcus, Marcus Johnson out of Fort Wayne. Is that right? Mm, Marcus yeah, Johnson, Marcus Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. top on our kid, good player. I'd seen him some. Um, he, had a, he had a good high school teammate too. What was his high school teammate's name? Uh, Ryan Sims. Yes. And they played for his dad, right? Yep. Ryan Sims is a yeah, coach yeah. at PFW now. Oh, okay. Nice. So yeah. So R Ryan Sims and, and Marcus Johnson are on the same high school team. And uh, Payne was basically like, we really like you. But I've got this offer out to Marcus Johnson, and he's a year older than you, but you guys are pretty similar position-wise. So if, if he takes it, I'm not sure I'll have a scholarship. But if he doesn't, we're going to keep recruiting you, and, and we'll see how it goes. Now, that, that's in stark contrast to another Big Ten school who didn't recruit me and told me that I wasn't good <laughs> enough to play in the Big Ten. <laughs> so you think about, like, how differing those are, you know, and that's where you leave that recruiting visit, and you're like, a simple no would have sufficed. Uh, like a simple, we're just we're, we're recruiting other people. We'll be in touch, you know. Not oh just God. not just tear apart my game, but right. you know, paint paint played it really smooth, and um, I I thought he just did a really good job um, because I my recruitment with Purdue wasn't I would say the smoothest sailing ship. Like I uh, I visited uh, as a junior, like going into my junior year, so I've got a full year of AEU under my belt. And me and Juwan, even though we didn't know each other well, happened to be visiting the same football weekend. So we're playing pickup um, before the football game. And <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> and me and Juwan are on a team. I forget who the other three were. I want to say Hartley was on the team and two other guys. And we're, like, winning. Like, usually the recruits are on a team in open gym and they're getting, you know, you, you lose and then you keep the recruits out there. But we were actually winning games. And I get a steal, and Nate Minoy chases me down and tackles me into the bleachers. I want to dunk this thing. He literally smokes me, like smokes me into the bleachers. And I'll never forget this. Gordon Watt, who was a freaking man child, like 6'5", looked like a bodybuilder. I mean, the strongest person I've ever played basketball against. Ever. At that time, like – I mean, you do rebound war against him, and he would just pick you up from under your freaking armpits and just drive you like a sled to the rim, right? Like, he was a beast. Gordon Watt runs up from behind and goes, welcome to the Big Ten, bitch. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, dude, I'm never going to Purdue. <laughs> I will never go to Purdue. And to, to Coach Painter's credit and Coach Luff's credit, um, they definitely smoothed the situation over. Because I was like, dude, there's no way. There's no way I'm going there. And one year later, I'm committing to Purdue. <laughs> so that's hilarious. That's funny as fuck. Uh, that's what's tough, man. That's 